Hello, my name's Ralph, and welcome back to our channel. It's my time, let's go. Uh, glad to see you with us here today, and uh, we're doing something just a little bit different. As I've had built this new trike and I've been driving it, I, I put it up on the stand quite often here, and I go over it and check everything, make sure stuff is tightened up, getting it ready for the new owner, so that no loose ends will be there, so to speak. Uh, as I looked in underneath and I put a new set of shocks on it, I found that the rubbers in the shocks were so soft that they were just pushed to one side. Um, so I'm feeling like I gotta do something with that. I can't just leave it like that. It would take a very short period of time. The, the uh, rubbers will be cut by the bolt and then it'll be steel on steel and possibly a bolt could snap. Different kinds of things could happen. So I went up to see my buddy Jimmy's and I got some of this high-tech nylon. Uh, which is virtually indestructible, but yet soft, um, that he gave me. And I'm gonna be able to make myself some bushings to fit in my shocks underneath that so that this problem won't go any farther. So stick with us today, and we're gonna try and make some of these and get our shocks revamped on the trike and uh, get them set up the way they should be. All right, let's go. So although it's a tight spot to get at, we can see here that this bolt head is back towards the rear of the shock, and you can see rubber here. Um, the more you move it out, the more you see that that is pushed back against the rubber and is not centralized at all. So it leads me to believe the rubber is so soft that it's not doing its job at all in there. So we're going to try and put a, a plastic bushings in there and make it a better fit. So we start by loosening the front knot off of the shocks. To loosen them up, we've got the clip off and the nut off. Now we'll get the, the back nut off, I've got it loosened off. There's no pressure on the shock at all. With the shock released in the front, we should have no pressure on this, but you can see we don't. And we should be able to slide the shock right out once we get it loosened off. So we just turn the nut in at the front of the shock, allows us to move it ahead enough to slide it right out. So we're just gonna pull the pushing slides right out of there. So we've got that out, and this rubber is so soft that I can just push it out of there. And it's, it's like that. So it's not gonna take any pressure at all, and this bushing then gets forced to the side against that. And that will crush this out inside very quickly. So we're gonna make some new bushings to go in here. What we want to do is this shoulder go up the, against the edge of the shock and then this distance here to be halfway and then we have to bore the hole in here uh, to take this piece. So halfway I know is uh, 610. There we go. We're going to go half and half on that. shoulder on the back side of it for the washer to go up against. So now we've got to bore this hole out to the size we want and cut this off. Cause I just want a half bushing there. 
I think I'll cut those off and then I'll grab them and uh, bore them out uh, one after another when I'm set up and then I can just size it right straight through. Right. Okay. Now we have to bore the inner the inner side out. So we're gonna have to get a little boring bar and uh, go through there. Nice, that's what we want. I'm gonna just fit. So when we press them into the other things, uh, they'll be just right. So you can see now that we have these together that we have just a, a little bit of the steel sticking out on either side there. So that should be about right uh, when we install them. I'm hoping, but uh, we shall see when we stick it in a shock. So now we'll just slide it into the shock and see if we have to make any, any other corrections. may have to still shove the outside down a bit but And there we go. We've just got a little bit. This is sticking out here, just ever so slightly, but it is. And the washer will go up against that steel piece. And we still have some sticking out on this side, which is what we want. And that'll make a lot better bushing in there for our shock. We're gonna try to get, get this back up in place. through the rubber bushings in the front and then far enough to get this up in the back and we've red loctited our, our stud make sure that we're into our locks up front and we are get our little nut on the front up here Although it's hard to see in there now, you can see the, the little bit of green around the washer. And that's made it a lot better. So we won't have that rubber compressing and any chance of it busting off in there. Well, so there we got our new pieces in for a shock. And I'm feeling really good about that. It was something a little bit extra. Uh, and it's not unusual when you build a custom bike from scratch to have to go over it from front to back. Make sure everything's tightened up. Make sure nothing's loosened up and fix any things that you, you're not quite quite happy with the way it turned out or anything. Um, that was about the only thing that I had left to fix on it and I'm glad that I took the time to do it and those will not bust and be beaten against the metal in a short period of time. So, another good point on the trike. Glad I got at it. <laughs>